But if you can do anything, say, if you can do anything. If you can do anything. Say it again. Now say it like that father probably said it desperately. But if you, if you can do anything. Okay, all right. If you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. If you can do anything, say, if you can do anything. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Now, it's important to keep in mind that earlier Jesus rebuked the man for not believing because when he first came to him and says, you know what, I talked to your, your disciples, they, couldn't, they could not do it. And he said, how long will I put up with you not having faith? Now, it may come across, when you read that, it comes across very, very harsh. But what he's really dealing with is his attitude. I'm not willing to believe. He said, I went to your disciples and they could not heal him. Like, I try to get that job, but they're not hiring. So nobody's hiring? I applied to three schools and they all turned me down. There's probably thousands of universities and colleges in America and three turn you down and you, and you can't get it accepted. Nobody's hiring? Say nobody's hiring. Nobody's hiring. No, somebody's hiring. Maybe the, maybe the ones you first went to. But a lot of it, if you're not careful, when we make efforts and we, and we say they cannot, and Jesus is going to twist it and flip, it, flip, it, flip the switch on them, it's not about me. <laughs> it's about you. It's about what you will believe. This is huge. Now, I'm going to unpack it for you a little, a little bit better. You know, my background is in business, and so I, I give illustrations oftentimes in that area, but I share this only to say that many folk in business just think differently if they're successful. They have a can-do attitude. We're going to fix this one way or another. We're going to work this out. But somehow we come to God, and we got the Bible, and, and somehow we get, well, I tried. It doesn't work. And Jesus says, you live in the same world I live in? Well, You just saw me do miracles? That's why you came to me. I can do miracles. I cast out demons, the blind seas, the lame walk, and now you said, your boys cannot do it? And sometimes, if we're not careful, we, we let slip in a little cynicism, a little discouragement because it's been a while, get into our talk and our attitude where we don't really expect God. He said, if you can do anything, God. What, what does that mean? You go pray with, if you can answer my prayer, what do you mean if, if I can? Okay? I want to get a clear picture of where the man was. Not to condemn him, because he's, he's not unique. We've been there before, too, my friend. Yeah. Are you following me? Yeah. But it's okay. Well, you may have been there, may be there, but you don't want to stay there. Yeah. Let me read that verse 23 to you out of the Amplified Bible. I'll give you a little more clarity, more amplification. He says, and Jesus said, you, are, you say to me, you're talking to me, you say to me, if I can do anything? In other words, you bring that up to me? Why? All things can be or are possible to him. Say him. Yeah. You can say her as well, who believes. In other words, he put the ball back in the court. Let me say it more clearly for you. It's not about what God can do, but what you can believe. I'll say it again. It's not about what God can do. You know, we sing these songs, you know, I, I love the worship we have here and so forth, you know, and, uh, but we're singing songs, some of the old songs, you know, God can do anything but fail. Do you really believe that? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to say it again. We'll sing this old, like old song, God can do anything but what? Fail. But do we believe that? When he just said to us, and he told the man, he said to say unto us, notice, we, notice what we said earlier in, in the communion, they came to hear and be healed. You need to hear that if you believe, God can do the impossibilities in your life. Hallelujah. Well, pastor, you know, she says she's out of here. The marriage is over with. If you believe, God can do miracles in your life. Amen. Now, you may have to change some, some things too, brother, okay? Well, Maybe a whole lot of things. But if you believe, say believe. It's not about what God can do, but what you can believe. 
well, Pastor, I'm a single parent. You know, I have three kids, and you don't understand. You know, my husband left me, and I have this job, and I don't have enough money, and boom, boom, boom. And if you believe, if you're here Mother's Day, if you weren't here, listen to the DVD or the, or the video online. She was almost homeless, deep adultery, couple kids, no husband. Say no husband. No husband. Yeah. And but she believed, willing to risk everything, believing God, and God came through for her. And obviously, she's a multimillionaire, running her healthcare business very successfully, supports a lot of ministry, major philanthropist, because she dared to believe. Amen. As opposed to, well, you, you don't know my situation, my, your situation, you know. <laughs> See, we all have a unique situation. We all do, me too. But if you let that be an excuse, we start saying what you can't do as opposed to what God can do with your belief, your faith in him. Amen. And if any time we need to have faith in God, it's now. Amen. It's now, y'all. Amen. 